Hey you guys, welcome to my channel where I post hair and lifestyle content. If you want to learn how I maintain my blonde curls and want to get a peek into my routine, keep on watching. For my routine, these are the products I use specifically, but you can use what works for you. I always like to remind you guys that what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. Please be careful when following any curly hair videos online and I am not a professional hairstylist. So, getting started, I start with a Denman brush and a detangling brush. I incorporate the Denman brush to make sure that I evenly comb my hair products in my hair, which you will see later. This is the Scala Brazilian line. I love using this lately as it's been giving me good results okay for my blonde hair routine specifically because my hair is naturally dark conditioner treatment is super important this is scala's coconut milk conditioner hair treatment for dry hair i only know what it says because i speak spanish so please do your research but this is definitely in like portuguese i think for my curling cream, I will be using another Brazilian line. This one is the SOS Gachos product. This is a uh, protein-rich hair product. It is helpful for hair with kind of like a lot of split ends, basically. It does much more than that, but yeah. But this is perfect because dyeing your hair blonde is very drying. For conditioner, I use the silicon mix. Now, please keep in mind, these products are all very, very heavy products to use for every single wash day. I do this maybe once a month. So, you know, this really helps with my upkeep, upkeeping and preventing dry hair. This silicon mix for this type of wash day, I use as a conditioner and I do as it says in the back, which is basically leave it on for three minutes and then wash it out. This is the star of the show, girl. My blue shampoo by Joico, I think it is. To be honest, this is my first time successfully dyeing my hair blonde and keeping curls okay um here's a picture of the first time i dye my hair blonde and yeah let's not discuss my hair went to literal actual sh <laughs> and no one told me about blue shampoo before listen girl I was struggling so this is only brand i'm aware of for blue shampoo and i find it works very well to be honest like it's a good shampoo lather's good you know what i mean um and if you're a new blonde girly like i kind of am at this point because the first time was a hot mess but if you're a new blonde girly like blue shampoo is used to bring out the blonde in your hair when we dye our hair the color naturally dulls out eventually like that's what's supposed to happen and you know that nasty orange you probably don't want when you go blonde this is who you need to fix that Okay, if you've never been here before, the girls know. I need to wet my hair before I do anything to it. Why? Um, because of my hair porosity types with an S. If you're confused, I'm just going to simply link the video I already did explaining this before the porosity types below um, to help you all out, okay? But for now, to start, I'm wetting my hair. Starting out with my coconut milk hair treatment, I'm going to apply this throughout my hair. I will also be using my Denman brush to thoroughly comb the products in my hair. I know you can't tell, but my hair is very thick. Well, you can't tell right now, but my hair is very thick. So the Denman brush has made like a huge difference in evenly coating everything. P.S. I really love filming these videos because it is just reassuring as someone who just is literally sharing her curly hair journey online with y'all and rediscovering my natural hair and when i do these masks and things and you know i just seeing it work right before our eyes is crazy to me every single time like look at the huge difference in the moisture there guys I then go ahead and rinse it off and jump into my blue shampoo. Time to bring the dull blonde out, sis. The dull blonde out. And it's pretty straightforward, you know. Evenly lather it and make sure you scrub good. Also, be mindful. This stuff really stains your hands. 
um i don't know if it's just his brand or if this is a blue shampoo thing but i noticed by the end of the shower it does go away but it caught me off guard the first time <laughs> Moving along, sis, we are putting on that Silicomics as conditioner. Please hear me out, okay? The girls are not a fan of Silicomics, I understand. But I assure you again, it has worked for me. However, I know for some girls it is not. As a Dominican woman, if you have better recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. But I have found that there's nothing that compares to Silicomics, okay? I'm sorry about it. No bias, no nothing. Please no hate comments, please, and thank you. But if you have a better suggestion, let me know. But the silicone has done nothing bad to my hair. But keep in mind, the girlies do not like this stuff sometimes. Like, there is there is an audience that strongly dislikes this product, and I strongly like it. And there's other girls that strongly like it as well. So just please keep in mind, okay? Again, do your research. But anyway, I put this in my hair and detangle as you normally would with any other conditioner and then i wash it out okay moving on time to style my hair so today i wanted to use just one curling cream due to all the treatments i did and, and stuff i usually use two curling creams and you can see that in the routine video below um this is the sos line this stuff has really made my hair eat i must say but anytime i apply it i just apply it and then i comb through it with my denman brush my denman technique really is the piece of the puzzle in my opinion um i apply the product first comb with the denman and then i scrunch it up if you want to see that demonstration you can again click on the link below with the curly hair routine please don't fight me but i do pinch off the extra hair and water off of my hair at the end i feel like i have to do this y'all because my thick hair like i said but also it was it will never dry if i don't do this trust me i've been here before it will not dry if i don't do this but this is the finished what product it's giving shiny healthy and delicious but wait till y'all see it dry Oh my god. We absolutely ate this wash day, okay? Let's get into the curls, the bounce, the hydration. Please look at this compared to my old blonde hair. Some very clear improvements have been made, as you can see. But yes, guys, here you have it. I know the girls asked me, um, by the way, like, do you diffuse or what do you do? And this particular hair reveal clip, this is actually air dried. And if you're wondering, you didn't ask, but if you're wondering, this took me like nine hours to dry. And it was still a little wet in the roots, mind you. Anyways, I um I do also use some gel, which I didn't show in this video, but in my curly hair routine, you can see all of that as well. And I'm done mentioning it for the rest of the video. <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching seriously i hope this encouraged you that you can dye your hair blonde and keep it healthy i've had it dyed blonde for maybe six months now and it has not given me a problem the only thing i do notice is that with blonde hair you will have a very dry hair texture so you just need to take extra care of that like that's all i've noticed so far this video also is just extra special to me because i truly was so traumatized from my blonde experience the first time like i lost half of my hair i'm not even kidding it was very bad um i thought i could never do blonde again but having a curly hair stylist this time doing my proper research after my big chop that was in like 2018 has made a huge difference in my relationship with my hair and like risk taking when it comes to my hair all in all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you feel inspired to do what you love on your own natural hair and i hope i can bridge the gap for you that us curly girls can do so much more with our hair than we think and than i thought especially but make sure you subscribe because i would really love to keep sharing this journey with you guys and i'd really love to keep in touch and i just want us to kind of go through this together and just understand our hair a little bit better as we go through this journey together or you're just watching from a far whatever the case may be but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it every single time i really do thank you and i'll see you in the next one